Hi again everybody. Um, just to carry on from using the history brush, if you would the, uh, had a look at the last tutorial, we looked at uh, black and white work and uh, used history states, use a history brush, blend modes, edit and fade. Well I want to show you what's possible uh, just using a single layer uh, working with a portrait and it's just one of those things where you get yourself organized with your blend modes uh, and uh, the opacity of your brush and you can use uh, this to retouch quickly quite a lot of portraits so rather than gassing along a bit we're going to choose our history brush don't forget it's over here if you just mouse down it uh, your shortcut is Y and just make sure you got your history brush organized there we're going to use it quite soft so just choose a soft brush uh, any one of these make sure the hardness is turned down I'm going to take this down to an opacity of 20 now you can either use your sliders there or if you really want to just hit your keyboard uh, hit a 2 that'll give you 20% opacity and for this one we're going to look at uh, using an overlay blend mode and I want to increase the size and brushes so I'm going to use the square brackets and just go up quite big on this and you see there it's just telling me the history I've got my history brush clicked in next to the image here I'm going to be using this let's just go back in here not bother about that history state there and I'm going to paint on the hair and I'm going to paint on the hair in overlay blend mode and what that's going to do is going to pop the contrast up make it a bit shiny and probably just um, add some color depth into it as well so let's just go across not a lot's happening there so I'm going to just hit naught on here and just show you at 100 percent what happens because um, if I just go over this hair in one continuous stroke you can see there it's uh, adding contrast in what it's also doing I'm just going to take it around this edge here just take out all that slight tint as well and just take it down here and if you saw the last tutorial which was the black and white one um, it was about using the edit and fade option so let's just go there all I'm doing is just transferring history backwards and forwards, all right, slight mistake down here, but um, it's one of those processes where we can go back in again and uh, just do this again. If we go into the edit option and we can fade the history brush, uh, just remember we can take all that we just painted in that continuous stroke there and we can just tune in, maybe just tune it up a bit, click OK, uh, you can go in again. Let's just hit uh, 2 on the keyboard, that'll give us 20% opacity, I do slightly bigger and just paint up there, one stroke, two stroke, three stroke. You can see in my history palette here, every time I release the mouse, it's just adding an extra history state and take that down there as well. And that and then just over this edge here, just on these highlights here. This, by the way, is a portrait shot, uh, shoot I did. Uh, it, was <laughs> it was some pole dancers I did. And uh, these were some of the headshots I did before we got into photographing the ladies upside down on poles and doing crazy athletic things. So you can see what we've done to the hair there. I'm going to the little camera again. Remember we've got the little camera snapshot down here and uh, let's rename this one just overlay. Uh, click that and we can see what's happened. So let's go back into our initial image. You can see the hair there and we see what we've done to this. Now that might be too much. You might want to just start again and work on this. Remember, we've only got the edit fade option if we we're still in that state there and not change the state we're working in. Um, so that's looking quite good. Uh, let's just go in a bit because I want to work on these eyes. And if you could think, we've got these little shadows working under the eyes here on both sides. I'm going to just change the brand mode to screen. Now, screen is like sort of, um, if you imagine, it's um, like having a torch shining into the uh, shadow areas. I'm still working at 20%. I'm in screen blend mode. I'm going to be working in this one now. So I just transfer my brush into this. Let's go in a bit tighter and I make the brush a bit smaller. And these areas where the shadows are under the eyes, I'm just going to paint over these at 20%. And you can see there, quite quickly, you can take out some of those more awkward shadow areas that are under the eyes. And all we're doing is using the information from our original, well, from the one we've worked on, the overlay one. You can see the brush is next to it there. And we're just working through and just lightening up. Just being careful with a small brush at 20%. Let's take a snapshot. 
that's where we were to start with and that's where we've got to so we're just <laughs> you're just using a brush we're not using layers we're not using masks we're not using anything we're really just working this image using the history brush which is your history brush over here easy for me to say and just hold down that to make sure you're in your history brush you can also add um, a bit of density to the color of the eyes again all it really is is working uh, with the create blend mode and if we just go to uh, color burn you could have multiply here as well or you can go, we can try and uh, uh, change the blend mode in the edit section I'm just going to paint over it 20 percent so it's not a great deal of a difference you see there if we just go back we've just increased the intensity we've also darkened that let edge around the outside of the eye and if I just go across to here as well and just paint in here and so we've increased the uh, intensity of the color in there let's take a snapshot just rename this one if you want to just as you're going along just rename things uh, just so you know what we're up to. So I'm going to do a quick recap on this one. Uh, we're using a history brush. Uh, remember we're using our different blend modes of the brush. We've chosen the brush which is soft again. Uh, the hardness is, is uh, really ramped down so it's a really soft brush. Um, we've used opacity so we either use our keyboard shortcut which is 2 for 20 or you can use your slider in there. We started off, let's just go out a bit, control minus Control minus because that's the image as it came in, which is just um, two flashes, one through an umbrella, uh, one turned down to half power through a soft box. Um, worked on the hair, overlay blend mode. Worked under the eyes using a screen blend mode. And then put some density and color into the eyes using the color burn. So you can see there with the portrait retouching technique, you really don't have to be thinking too much about. Uh, working with layers and all the tricky things that you see out there on YouTube and where else. Just use your history brush. It's one of these things which is hidden. Not many people talk about it. I don't know why. <laughs> I use it all the time. Um, I'll come back in a, on the second part of this and we'll look at uh, changing the image and then using that data and adding it into certain parts of the image. But this is how we started off. With a few brush strokes, this is where we've got to. Um, that's been a quick introduction with using the history brush in your portrait retouching techniques. Uh, just bob across to Max Black's, maxblackphotos.com, uh, see what I'm up to. Lots of different galleries in there. Um, and until next time, of course, that's bye for now.